Hello and welcome to my channel Online Electro. Today we will discuss about combinational logic circuits. The contents are introduction to combinational circuit, design of half header circuit. So let us understand what is combinational circuit. A combinational circuits are memoryless digital logic circuit. It is a memoryless digital logic circuit whose output at any instant in time depends only on the combination of the inputs. Here you can see the block diagram of this combination logic circuit where the at inputs there are more than one input and it generates more than one output. So the function can be represented as the output is dependent upon present input state only. So output is equal to function of input. A combination logic circuits normally made up from the logic gates that is your NAND, NOR and NOT gates which are combined in such a way to produce the complicated switching circuits. So these logic gates are the building blocks of the combination logic circuits. For example, we use the decoder circuit that is used to decode your binary data into the decimal data. So there are three ways to represent this combination logic circuit. First one is your Boolean algebra. Second is your truth table. Third is using your logic diagrams. So here is a representation for this. So in this way, we are using logic gates where we are uh, making the combination of a logic gates and we are producing one combination logic circuit. We call it as a logic diagram. So another way is to represent it using the Boolean expression where we are writing down the expression to express the output function. And this one is your two table where we are keeping it in a tabular format and producing the output way. So the examples for the combination logic circuits, it lies in three categories. One is your arithmetic logical functions. Second one is for a data transmission. Third one is your for code converter. ALU is found normally in the computing devices where you can see you are performing adder, subtractor, comparison sort of applications. Data transmission, it depends upon your multiplexers, then your demultiplexer, encoder and decoder circuits. The code converters, it lies for the binary, BCD, gray code and semi segment. So all these are the application areas where combination logic circuit fits. Now let us understand what is half header circuit. Half header circuit is a combination logic circuit with two inputs and two outputs. Here you can see the two inputs are A and B and the output would be sum and carry. So we have to design a logic expression for this and we have to design the combination logic circuit for this half header circuit. So as we are having only two inputs, input A and input B, so probably there will be only four combination as 2 raised to power 2 is equal to 4. So we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So on adding 0 plus 0, if I add this 0 plus 0, I will get sum as 0 and carry as 0. 0 plus 1, it gives sum as 1 and carry as 0. 1 plus 0, it gives sum as 1 and carry as 0. And 1 plus 1, it gives sum as 0 and carry as 1. So now I will make the K map for this. So the K map for sum is here and K map for carry is here. As you can see in the carry field, there is only one available at this position so I keep it here and there are two ones in the case of sum so I place it them here according to the K map. Now next I will make the groups for it. So for this as you can see uh, there is no grouping available so we have to make the individual groups. So for this the expression would be AB for this the expression would be a bar b and for this the expression would be a b bar. So the logic expression becomes for sum it becomes a bar b plus a b bar and for carry it becomes a dot b. It is simply representing your AND gate and it is simply representing your XOR gate. So to design the half header circuit we require two basic gates that is your XOR gate and your AND gate. So here it is the representation here are two inputs A and B for sum. I design this by giving two inputs to the XOR gates and for carry, I design it using two inputs to the AND gate. So this is the logic. This is a combination logic circuit for half adder. So this is for the design for your half adder. Let us summarize what all we have covered. So here you can see the summary for this half adder circuit. We are having two inputs A and B. The outputs would be sum and carry. Once your input are 0, 0, your sum is 0, carry is 0. When your inputs are 0 and 1, your sum is 1, 
carry becomes zero. When your inputs are one and zero, your sum is one and your carry is zero. And where in, in when your input are one and one, your sum is zero and your carry becomes one. So this is the complete summary for your half at a circuit.